Good morning. This is Perry with Keith and Perry <clears throat> out of the wilderness, uh, coming to you from the beautiful city of Linwood, Washington. Um, I was just thinking the other day, um, I was watching a, uh, a video in regards to um, our words, you know, what we speak, our words being spirit and that every single term that we put out and use in our daily lives um, are effective in one way or another. That's either positive or negative. Proverbs tells us that uh, the, the tongue is the power of life and death. Uh, boy, and when you stop and really think about that, <clears throat> it, it really is... Um, I don't have a spouse, but uh, years ago when I was raising my uh, youngins, uh, I had this bad habit of, of screaming and yelling, and, and uh, when I didn't, they didn't respond the way I uh, wanted them to respond, and over the years, looking back, I could see where, man, that was a horrible, horrible mistake. We do this, I think, with our wives, we get in these... Uh, hellacious arguments. We uh, call each other awful names. Um, and then uh, a few days later, we go back and we beg forgiveness from the spouse uh, or from each other and swear we won't do it again. And we turn around and do it again. So I guess what I'm saying is, well, we just need to be really careful of what we say to people in general. You tell your children when they're little they're going to be dumb and stupid. They're going to grow up to be dumb and stupid. Uh, or if you call them lazy bums, they're going to grow up to be lazy bums. Not always, but there, there's, there's a good chance of that. And uh, when you hug them every day before they go to school or before they go to uh, wherever it is they're going, uh, you hug them and you tell them they're important. You love them. Most of all, God loves them, no matter where they're at, no matter what they're doing, God loves them. Again, we serve a God that <clears throat> uh, there's no way to explain in words how much God loves us, how much He cares for us, that He actually is looking out over us all the time. And I just encourage all of us to take time every day to spend uh, at least 15 minutes uh, at his feet giving him thanks and glory for all the things that he does that we see and that we understand and giving him thanks and praise and glory for all the things that we don't understand. So I hope you all have a blessed day. This is Perry. I'm out. Bye.